Hello, hello everyone, it's Connell Finlay here, the owner and director of The Seller Store down in New Zealand, and welcome to today's episode of The Seller TV. So what we're going to be drawing today is this fantastic little white wine, and it's from one of my favourite northern Italy producers up in the Veneto, and it's Anselmi. And so they're based up in sort of the Suave district of the Veneto. And this particular wine is the 2015 Capital Croce. And so this is almost 100% Garganega. It's got a tiny, tiny little bit of Chardonnay in there as well, which differs year to year. So it's usually sort of between 80 and 90% Garganega and a little bit sort of between 10 and 20% Chardonnay as well. And so this is quite an interesting and important uh, white wine in particular. Well, this producer uh, and all of their white wines made in a very similar sort of vein, very, very important because they basically turned Suave, the whole region and all the wines that come from the region of Suave, the white wines, uh, on the head. Many of you are probably uh, sort of familiar with the white wines of Suave. They're light, they're sort of citrusy, and almost uh, all of them are fairly bland, right? So most of them aren't very exciting. They're sort of just made to be drunk, you know, without mindlessly drunk uh, in summertime. They're just crisp, they're white, you know, that's basically all you really need to know. Uh, whereas what uh, Anselmi did, or the family here at Anselmi did, uh, sort of the 1960s and 70s uh, and 80s as well, and all the way onwards, uh, they basically said, look, no, we're not going to be making these big mass-produced white wines. In fact, what we're going to be doing is we're going to have much smaller sort of crops uh, yield that we're going to be taking. We're going to be um, making much more sort of riper, uh, taking much more riper grapes, uh, which will then in turn make much more riper, much more complex sort of uh, grape variety uh, uh, wines, I should say as well and also add a little bit of chardonnay in there and that little bit of chardonnay there can actually give it just a little bit of a sort of a crispness a little bit more acidity a little bit sort of more body as well and so for this particular read, uh, fact that even though they use garganega they don't use 100 percent garganega and they don't use it to all those sort of maximum yields and all the rest that every other suave producer does and so you'll notice on their bottle it does not say anywhere suave it's just bianco a white wine from the veneto region and so usually if you see that sort of thing, Bianco, it's just an IGT uh, from the Veneto, usually it means low quality. On the contrary, these guys are just bucking the trend, not going what everything else is, uh, what everyone else is doing, and making fantastic, fantastic white wines. And you'll find these wines on basically all of the top wine lists in the world. Anyway, so let's give this a little sniff, shall we? Mmm. Mmm. So straight away on the nose, what I absolutely love about the Capital Croce, and well, all of their wines in all honesty, there's this real fleshiness on the nose. It just speaks of ripe, really, really ripe and concentrated sort of fruit. And right here in particular, I mean, it's still quite young. It's the 2015, so it's only a year, well, year and a half, two years old. But immediately, you're getting this really, really ripe lemon flavor, lots and lots of lemon flavor, and a little bit of sort of that golden yellow pear, that really, really ripe yellow pear sort of flavor. Quite a bit of sort of yellow stone fruit, quite a bit of um, nectarine in particular. And then there's just a touch of sort of orange, or like a clementine sort of note there, coming in there as well. A little bit... A little bit of oak coming through, and I think that's largely sort of the Chardonnay uh, portion of it all, which is coming through. Giving it sort of this appley, but also this creamy, nutty texture, which, as I say, come from the little bit of oak that this sees. Anyway, let's give it a taste. Mmm. So it's dry, it's nice and dry actually, it's got a little bit of acidity, admittedly I'd like it p perhaps if you're going to think of your quintessential sort of zingy um, summer white wines you'd want perhaps just a touch more acidity there, but overall very very well balanced, nice and textural, so again something that's very very much lacking in other suave wines, as they do tend to be as I say quite bland, a little bit sort of plain, sometimes a little bit austere. This, on the other hand, is quite creamy, quite rich, quite complex on the palate. A lot is going on here. 
And again, those same sort of flavors, just in sort of this creaminess uh, coming through as well. So you're getting those lemons, those sort of floral ar ar aromatics as well, sort of white, um, you know, honeysuckle sort of flavors. A little bit of apple again coming through, sort of red apple, yellow apple. Again, same sort of thing with pear. A lot of those lemon sort of flavors. I'm definitely getting a bit more of a, a nutty note, like, sort of like a macadamia note on the finish here, and it's absolutely lovely. And I have to say, for about 30 bucks, uh, New Zealand that is, 30 bucks, this is actually an incredible steal. Um, Ron, so please do check out the link below. All the information's down there about what we've been tasting today. Uh, and you can go straight to our website if you want to buy a bottle of this or just check out a little bit more information about Anselmi and this particular white wine. So as always, we always ask you to please like away, comment away, and subscribe, of course, that's much, much appreciated. And if you like this particular video, then you'll find so many others on our particular channel. Uh, we're always uploading more and more content, you know, every week or two. A bunch of new tasting videos and a bunch of other projects as well that we're working on, which is very exciting. And of course, please do share away with all your other friends and family. Wine-loving friends and family, of course. And of course, first and foremost, cheers.